Hi guys, welcome to another morning of Relax and Paint. And today I'm going to do a container. I think it's really fun to fill a container full of pretty flowers. And I love the colors that I'm using today. And I hope that you enjoy those with me. So let's get started. Thank you for watching. Remember, we have practice strokes on Friday where I'm teaching you techniques and different strokes to help you paint all the paintings that we have on One Stroke or Advantage or on um, Relax and Paint. Okay, so be sure to go visit there and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed so that you get notified when I'm on. So YouTube knows that you love my show and that we can keep doing more. All right. So thanks. And let's get going. What we're going to do is on some art paper. Okay. Now I pulled out some multi-surface paint. We're using multi-surface. This is wicker white and it does all those different sur surfaces. So it goes on metal, wood, ceramic, glass, all kinds of different surfaces. Now, the first thing I'm going to do um, that will make it easier for you to see is to, to uh, kind of sketch out what I'm, the container, okay? And what we're going to do is uh, kind of like a fat metal cup, okay? And it's going to have a handle on it. All right, so I'm just getting just loosely sketching. And then all of the flowers are going to come off of this. All right. All right, just to kind of show you what my vision was for this piece. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up some gray, since we already have some gray on here. Okay, this is one of my 16 flat. I'm picking up some white and I'm going to just, uh, this is kind of a distressed looking container. It's been around for a long time. And I'm going to show you that I'm going to come down. I need floating medium. Floating medium is a fluff that's inside paint with no pigment in it. And we use this instead of water. I can't put my brushes before I start painting, lay it on the paper towel and take off some of the paint. So now when I need, this to be moistened a little bit more because it's on paper. I can come down and um, come right along here now and come across. I don't want it super smooth, but I'm going to do this first. Let's get some more white, some medium gray. Okay. Worker white, medium gray, some floating medium. And this is on a gray art paper. You get pads of this at the different craft stores. We sell a lot of pads on our site, onestroke.com, but they're in many of the art stores, craft stores. Okay. So I just want it kind of abstract, and we'll spec it a little bit later. So I can come right along here. Okay, we can have just some glare across here. All right, and then I'm going to do the handle so it's got a little bit more gray with a little bit of white. And it starts here on the chisel of the brush, right on this edge. Push and bring it back up. Okay, now it just looks like a very large cup, all right? Now, the next thing that happens is I'm going to do a bouquet, and underneath I need depth. So I know you all have seen, this, seen me do this before, but I'm going to just pick up the sap green, and I'm going to make this dark underneath area before I start putting the flowers on. And in here... You can see the dark green in between the flowers. All right. And a little bit in here. Now I want to see what I want you to see what inspired me. Okay. What inspired me is just this photograph. 
right? So see how I'm building up what I'm going to start with and how I'm going to keep going on here. Oops, darn it. That won't come off there. So maybe I'll end up with a little vine over there. All right. So these are the ones right in here that you want it to be dark underneath so that as you paint a flower, it just doesn't look like the light gray, gray showing through. Makes a big difference in what this looks like. Now I can come in here and before I get started, I can double load. So I dip the sap green, go to the citrus green, maybe pick up a little bit of white. And I have a little bit of a leaf coming right off the edge there. All right. So it looks like that's showing through. So let's make it a little bit heavier. So if I want that to happen, I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four back. And then I pull this down. All right, then. So that covers it a little bit more better. And then we're going to have some more um, little bits of green that come out here and there. All right. And then I will, this had a stem coming straight out. So I think I'm going to do more of little ones coming here. There's a little bit there. Here we can do one. Let's do one right there where my problem is. <laughs> okay. And then there's some vines that come out here. See a little vine. And I'm leading with the dark and that citrus green's following. And that's what makes that stick out, stand out a little bit more. And then these are going to be covered. So I'm just putting those in there for now. All right. So now while that's drying just for a few minutes, because I don't want that, that dark green, you can see the shine. I don't want it to be um, so wet that when I paint my flowers, it picks up that. So I can put a little bit more gray in here. But let's put a little bit of coffee latte. Okay. Now I can put little bits of this in here. And then I can take my scruffy, little scruffy here. All right, and this is the quarter inch scruffy. This comes in your value pack of brushes. These are natural hairs and most of my brushes are synthetic nylon. These are all natural hair, okay? We, now, you're not supposed to put that in the water, but I'm going to put that down for now. And then I'm going to come right along the bottom here. Okay. And I'm going to do a little bit of the shadowing over here. So I'm going to put some floating medium. See how I work floating medium in. And I'm going to come right out here with a little bit of shadow. All right, so it looks like it's just a shadow from the container. All right. Kind of this will give you the illusion of the table, right? And I can just come right in here and get a teeny bit of white. Have a glare right here. And the glare might have a little bit right there. Okay. Now oh, that's it's like a metal container. Okay. Now I'm gonna kind of hit this with a blow dryer really quick. There we go. Still got some green in it, but that's okay. Some of this color I was gonna use has that in it. Okay, so I'm gonna go to a 12. We were using a 16, so now we're gonna stage down to a 10 or a 12. But I think this 12 will work. So Remember what I said, I dampen it, lay it on the paper towel. There we go. You know, paper towel. All right, so we're gonna do the flowers back here first. And so what they are, are kind of the soft green back here, which is citrus green 
Um, and let me make sure there's so many good happy greens, bright greens. Yeah, this is citrus green. All right. And so I'm going to have this coming right in here. And I'm going to slip, slap, slip, slap, slip, slap. So it's just going to give you the illusion of this hydrangea back here that has light green. There we go. Okay, so now I can bring a little bit of the sap green in the bottom here. You see that just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to the citrus and there's little bits of purple. So see, I'm going to put little bits of purple in here. This is neon purple. All right, and so when I pick that up back up to the green, I'm going to side load the white. More citrus and more white. Okay, so what happens here? I'm going to come in here and every once in a while I can pick up some purple. It's just called purple. Neon purple. All right, so if I put this here so you can see. I'm going to just pick up a teeny bit of purple here and there. And that's just going to give you that little bit of tinge of color that's on those citrus petals. All right, a little bit of white. Okay, now what looks good is I'd like to just little dots of color out here. It kind of nice, just the corner of the brush, little teeny spots. Okay. All right. Now, um, then I'm going to pick up more of this June berry. So let's pick up some June berry with citrus. Now, where this came is it's all in here. Okay. And it's going to come right over on top of here. Okay. So you see the light color that's in here. Okay. And I do have some of this that's even darker down here. I'm going to put some of the lavender and this is the what do you call it? Neon purple with June berry down here. See how that got a little bit darker over the sap green. Okay. And then we're going to come back in here with some two greens right in here. Okay. Let's see, they're pretty yummy colors. I know that's hyper-focusing there, All right? So what's going to happen is I'm going to wipe the brush off and then I'm going to pick up Juneberry, white, and citrus. Okay, so on this, I'm doing the same thing where I'm slip-slapping a little bit. I have it a little bit darker in here. But I want to pick up some lighter colors over here with citrus. A little bit more. And then we go citrus and white. 
Let's see the June berries early in there. Slip, slap, slip, slap, slip, slap. All right. So in here, I'm going to do a couple of petals here because it's a little bit closer. All right. So I'm going to pick up white and work that into the purple, neon purple with Juneberry. So as I'm doing this, let's wipe some of that off. I've got too much white. Okay. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to make a couple of petals in here. So I actually am doing the little rounded petal. So there are actually four petals in a hydrangea. One, two, three, four. And some of those actually go up to a peak and come down, peak and come down. So if you have the patience to do them all like that, that would be what they actually look like in all kinds of sizes, okay? So we're going to come back here. You got that dark purple behind, which is Juneberry, I'm sorry. You got the Juneberry behind. And then on these little guys that come in here like this, I'm just going to take my script liner and we can put little citrus dots. Little citrus dots in there. Okay, just little bits. All right, so we do have um, a half inch scruffy where we can put um, some of this um, different type of plant they had in here. Okay, so I'm just this is, brush is dry, you don't want this one first. Okay, and it looks stiply like, right? And so all I'm doing with that one is I put a touch of white. Um, I'm doing just a touch of white and then I tap. So it gives you the feeling of this different type of filler flower. All right, so after I did that, it does have a teeny bit of this neon purple. And I'm just going to add, see how little bits of that in there. Just a little bit here and there. All right, and just give you a tinge of that. And then we're going to come in here with just white and lavender. So I've had the June berry so far. This is white and purple, which makes lavender. All right, a little bit of the green. Okay. And so we're just making these half circles. So these are like a teardrop. When you look at practice strokes, it'll show you that you touch, push, lift. Like the, it's called a five-petal flower. And we're just using those petals. Okay. And then I put some of these in here. You can slip slap some. 
Gives you a little bit of soft look in there. See that a little bit coming down. All right. So it's just kind of a dreamy little uh, painting. And then on this little, this little vine here, I'm going to put a little bit of white blossom coming down here. So what I'm doing is I wiggle it up and then wiggle it back down. All right, and I can put a little bit over here. Yeah. Okay, just a little bit. And then to finish it off, because it needs a little bit of that detail, you can add a teeny bit in here. Okay, so if I have white there and white there, I could have some white over here. And so what this looks like, if I get my line around here, this looks like if I take the citrus with some white, this looks like a little teeny line that comes here with this little line. It's a, that's more like a fern, guys. So we're going to come from here and a little bit from there. Okay. And I'm going to take that small brush again. And it can just be some purples and white. I'm going to put some green in there first. But... But I had that green underneath, it's kind of nice. So I'm pulling these strokes. And this is, again, the neon. And then I side stroke white. So I'm pulling the neon and the white's following. So if you want to learn more lessons, just remember we have one stroke advantage, and you can join that for $10 a month. And what happens on there is I give you more detailed lessons, and I teach you with worksheets that you can print off and work on. All right. So let's, we're almost done with just a quick, you can make this more detailed, more perfect petals, but I'm going for a loose, quick um, piece that you can do greeting cards. Or you can paint this on glass, frame it on a canvas, make it look more watercolor. But there we go. All right. So this looks like it needs a little bit more there. So maybe I put in the neon purple and do the little dotted centers of that to make it pop out more. What do you think? All right, I'd love to hear from you. Love to see what you're doing with your pieces. Come to Donna Dewberry's official One Stroke group on Facebook, and you will learn so much there. So come check it out. All right, let's get a little further away so it's going to focus a little bit more. All right, so there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. And more to come. All right. Thank you, guys. See you next time. Mm -hmm.